We're learning that Pope Francis has been released from the hospital. In fact, this is video of the pontiff leaving the hospital in Rome just a few hours ago. The Pope was admitted Wednesday for bronchitis. There was added concern since he's missing part of his lung, but his doctors say that he responded well to antibiotics. Pope Francis says that he will, in fact, lead Palm Sunday services at the Vatican. Now to the latest on the indictment of former President Trump. Preparations continue this weekend as Trump prepares to return to Manhattan for his arraignment. Sources telling ABC News that the former president is expected to travel from his home in Mar-a-Lago in Florida to New York on Monday. Then he's set to appear in court on Tuesday on charges stemming from a hush money payment made to adult film star Stormy Daniels. Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis live in Lower Manhattan outside the courthouse with more. Marcus. And Mike, as they gear up for possible protests here on Center Street, already the courthouse surrounded by barricades, unprecedented security for what is an unprecedented event in legal history. Now, the former president has reportedly huddled up with his lawyers in Mar-a-Lago, preparing his defense. The indictment here in New York City is still under seal, but sources tell ABC News there are roughly two dozen charges, including felonies, related to that $130,000 payment to Stormy Daniels back in 2016. Prosecutors alleging that the payment was cover up for an alleged affair violated campaign finance laws, though Trump's lawyers insist that money was paid out of personal funds. Now, this, of course, marks the first time a former U.S. president will be facing criminal charges. His lawyer describing his reaction to the indictment by that grand jury. It was shocked because this actually is coming to fruition. I was always hoping that rule of law would have prevailed, George, but in my opinion, and I don't say this with, with pride or pleasure, um, in my 32 years as a lawyer, both as a prosecutor and defense attorney, um, I feel like the rule of law died yesterday in this country, and it's not something that I'm happy about. So again, the timeline, the president, former president expected to arrive in New York tomorrow, uh, rather on Monday, Monday night, stay overnight at Trump Tower, and then that arraignment is expected to take place on Tuesday.